one of the four holy books of Hinduism, the Atharva Veda, is said to hold secrets of exorcism, magic and alchemy. A text held in the Vedic and Tantric traditions that contains the primary means to perform the mantra and yajna exorcisms. The Atharva Veda is sometimes called the Veda of magic formulas. In contrast to the heretic religion of the other three Vedas, the Atharva Veda is said to represent a popular religion, incorporating not only magic formulas, but also the daily rituals for initiation into learning, Upanayana, marriage and funerals. The royal rituals and the duty of the court priest are also included in the Atharva Veda, this perfectly aligns with religion being merged with magic. I've also noticed the setup of trade using the very same method. Trade allows the magical rituals to enter popular culture. Vaishnava traditions also employ the recitation of names of Nara Shima and reading scriptures, notably the Bhagavata Purana, spoken aloud. In Sanskrit, the word Narasimha consists of two words. Nara means man and Simha means lion. Together they mean man-lion, referring to a mixed creature avatar of Vishnu. My suspicion was correct in the previous video. Sinhala is the curse of the lion, because Sinha also means lion. And in popular culture, the word Sing is often used to replace Simha. That would be a theophoric magical name. A name spoken aloud in popular culture. In Hinduism, La is giving, taking and receiving but referring to the curse of exorcism. Narashima is the one who causes terror by roaring, the one who has a wide mouth and projecting teeth, the one for whom nails are his weapon. To continue, there are many variations of exorcism within this culture. It is also believed that praying to Hanuman gives the best result, as mentioned in the Hanuman Chalisa. Similar to Narasimha, it is believed that just uttering the name Hanuman makes the evil forces and devils tremble in fear. The main Puranic source on ghost and death-related information is Garuda Purana. A complete description of birth and death, and also about the human soul, are explained in Kato Upanishad, a part of the Yajur Veda. A summary of this is also available as a separate scripture called Katakam. The influence of the priests spans from Alpha to Omega,
from birth through life and death. We also learn, as seen with other religions, the magical texts and theophoric names have been woven with popular culture. These texts could not stand alone. They do not stand proudly. The darkness has been brought to light. Before I finish, La has many meanings. I have seen La as curse in German and Hebrew. The origin of the word curse is apparently unknown. La meaning curse is from the old universal language. Today I will leave you with the extensive Arabic meaning of La. As you will see, many of the variations that I have highlighted for you also refer to the character behind the veil.